Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be teaching a new model I designed. This is a milk carton. This is from one square of paper. And you can see there's the bottom. This is a six inch square this one's made from, so that's the size we'll be making today. Here's one from some slightly larger paper that is patterned. And here's one from a 12 inch square. It's can't even quite get it in frame, it's that big. But we're going to be making this size, six inch square. So I'm going to be using this duo paper here. I think we'll make a green carton, since I already have a blue one here. Um, so first we'll use the blue side as our white side, and we want to divide it into fifths this way. So the way we do that, we're going to fold in half, and just crease kind of lightly in the middle here. You don't want to crease too sharply. And we're going to bring this edge, this edge, to this crease, and the, it's going to start right at the point. It's basically doing like a diamond base, sort of. But you just need to pinch at this top corner. And over here, now we're going to unfold that and fold this corner to that pinch there. And this time we're going to crease all the way across. That's one-fifth of our paper. Now to make the rest of the fifths, we're going to unfold this. Go first turn it so that this is facing away from you. Unfold, we're going to bring this edge up to the crease we just made. Let me just make sure I'm lined up. It has to be well lined up. Unfold, and now we're going to bring this crease, this edge to the crease we just made again. And once again unfold, and now we're going to turn it again the other way. Bring this edge to this fifth up here. And now your square is divided into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to make some diagonal folds on the bottom on one side. So we'll just use this side. We're going to flip it over, and we're going to make valley folds. So we're going to bring this edge to the fifth here. Unfold, now bring this this edge here to this fifth, just creasing to the fifth before it. Same here. This will be the bottom of the carton at the end. Another one here. And for the last one, we'll just bring these edges together. Crease only to the fifth crease. And now we're going to fold this up like this along those creases where they intersect the vertical creases. Flip it over so that the blue side, in this case the white side, this is a dual paper, so it's a different color, is facing up. And we're going to flip this up, but we're going to fold this up a small amount. Let the this pop out at the bottom. And just, not exactly how far to go, just a small amount is good. You don't have to be exact. It's just sort of adjustable. I like to go about like that much. That's what I did about that, about the same as I did on this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to flip it over and we're going to make some a pleat fold here, a valley fold here and a valley fold. So we have the center fifth and then we're going to have a valley fold here and one right there. So we're going to just pinch this here and bring this these two creases together. Oops. Make sure when you do this that you fold it carefully down here so you don't uh, tear anything. And now once again we're going to, this one here, we're going to bring this crease to this crease. And basically what we have at the end is sort of this fold, and if we turn it over you'll see how these actually will meet in the middle. Now we're going to take this point, we're going to do some preliminary creases here, fold this down to the to here, and we're going to make a little pinch, unfold it again, and we're going to fold this um, to here. Actually we're going to fold this down and actually crease it all the way through. Fold this edge to the fold there. Unfold, and we're going to fold this to the crease we just made. And now we're going to fold a small amount up. How far? Well, just a small amount. I like to go about there. So that you have, so that this rectangle is wider than a 2 by one rectangle. And now we're just going to make one more fold over here. But we're going to unfold it again so it's just the one fold it down. Now comes sort of the fun part. We're going to fold this one over. So this is almost like folding in a thirds now, basically, at this point. And we're going to tuck... I like to tuck this one underneath the other. So you can see, first I'll do the top. This pocket here. These you don't even have to interlock. I just tuck this as a one tab into here. Like that. And then on the bottom here, I just interlock those two pleats there. 
and make sure the inside's not stuck so it'll slide in, not jammed up. And make sure when you do this top one that it goes right to the edge if you can. Now I just like to reinforce this crease. Now comes a really fun step. We're going to open this up. It kind of almost looks like a paper bag at this point. We're going to reach into the bag, if you will, and open up the box. And you're going to open up to, and you make sure this, this part here can come apart a bit. So you just kind of hold that and just gently push to the top. And you'll see how the milk carton shape is made. And then I like to take the top piece here and fold it over a bit so that it's lined up like that. So you kind of got a little milk carton shape going here. That's like the top of the milk carton. And now to close it, this is a, another fun step. You're going to take the side and you're going to do a twist fold along these four creases. So it's a little tricky with this crease here, so I just kind of like to fold it this way first and then just twist it down, push into the sort of the recess in the bottom. And now you have your finished little milk carton from one uncut square of paper. And if you have like a paper with a cow print on it, you could make it look like a even a little more realistic. That's from a six inch square. And then I guess this one could be a lime juice carton if you wanted to. So there you go. You can make a bunch of these and have your own little pretend milk cartons, juice cartons, whatever you want them to be. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.